you know, there's just something nice about waking up, coming out of my bedroom, and seeing my artwork hanging on the wall. Camp Adventures. Good morning. Welcome back to Gimp Adventures. I realize I'm very bright. Well, actually, it's afternoon. I realize I'm very bright this afternoon. And I got my warning. You could go blind from my pure awesomeness. Because I'm just that cool. But, uh, yeah, right now, I'm going to be heading to Walgreens to pick up uh, a couple pops and stuff, and uh, Mel just, I just met with Mel, and she's going out to pick up some lunch for Linda, and that'll be fun. Oh my god. Mm. But I'm going to pick her up a Sprite, and I'm going to take cat poo down to the trash room, so that's always fun, so I'm going to do that now. So, you know, things can't ever go my way. Uh, I just, I got back from Walgreens a while ago, and uh, when I was at Walgreens, I attempted to use my food stamps in order to buy, you know, a couple bottles of pop and some ice cream, and it wouldn't go through. And it wouldn't go through and wouldn't go through and all right, whatever, and I put it on my check card. I get back here and I mention it to Mel and she says, oh, you should call and check to see that you got it. And no, I didn't get it. And I just tried to call my financial worker and no answer. You know, went to her voicemail and her voicemail message uh, said that, you know, it was Thursday the 12th and today is Friday the 13th. Of course, it has to be Friday the 13th, the day that I'm having all this sh shit in trouble. So, I'm going to have to do a lot of running around today now. Because I was going to go to hy V and get some groceries, and I can't now because I don't have the money. But, more than likely, I'm probably going to end up going to the food shelf now. After I make some other stops and Coke is rubbing on the camera. What are you trying to do? But... Daddy's not in a playful mood, so maybe later. I know you're just trying to make me feel better, but not right now. But I gotta grab the phone book and my GPS and head back down to meet up with Mel. And she's gonna help me find uh, the address to the Blue Earth County office so I can go down there and talk to them. I'm probably gonna have to stop at Social Security so that I can get a printout of my current, most current, uh, benefits and I just not good shit right now. That was productive. I went and went into Social Security uh, to get a updated copy of my current award letter to bring to give uh, to Blue Earth County. And there was 15 people waiting in line, so there was no way I was going to be able to get through that line and get here before like 4 o'clock when they close. And yeah, so I just came to Blue Earth County and dropped off my new change of information form and, uh, you know, asked them, you know, about told them I didn't have food stamps and oh do you, do you know who your worker is? And I'm like, no, I just moved. Okay, well your worker is Diane. So, you know, grab that phone over there when it's free and dial this number to get to her and called and voicemail and left her a message. So I basically drove all this way to leave someone a message. So I uh, makes me mad. I was thinking I was going to go for a drive, but then I was like, well, I might end up stopping somewhere and buying something stupid. But I'm just going to go back and I'll buy something stupid and something smart online. So, 
I'm just, I'm not happy right now. I know I really shouldn't, but I, this is just pissing me off. And, uh. Well, I got a call back from my new financial worker lady. Alicia was still in the office and uh, what happened was stupid Lyon County after I went in and recertified uh, they authorized my health care and my cash assistance but not not my food stamps for some reason and there is no reason for them to not do that. And so this lady went ahead and authorized it. I won't get it till 10 a.m. tomorrow, but it is authorized now. And I have to get her a copy of my lease to verify my rent. And uh, I'll probably just take it over there and have them copy it next week because I don't I don't want to fuck with trying to get it copied and faxing it or whatever I'll just take it over and have them copy it right there so oh, it just that kind of stuff makes me mad and, oh. you know it seems like they purposely pull this shit just to annoy people, you know, and just to discourage them and get them to not, you know, keep up with their benefits and stuff so that they just get screwed over and, and then they pocket the money. Oh, ah, makes me mad. <coughs> the more shit going down. Uh, first of all, I found out about my ceiling fan. Uh, if I want to put it up, I have to have their electrician do it. And I will be responsible for the cost. So, who knows how much that's going to be. If it's more than 20 bucks, it's more than I was originally planning on spending. But, I don't know, I'll give them a call on Monday. But, uh, yeah, also, my shadow box, uh, with Amanda's hair and obituary and stuff fell down. It, it survived. You know, it's got a couple dings in it now, but it didn't break, thank goodness. But, uh, I'm going to have to figure out a better way to hang it. Because what I did is I was using some of those uh, Veralco command hook tabs and uh, you know on their own they just didn't stick out quite far enough from the back of the shadow box to be able to secure to the wall and so I duct taped a couple pieces of cardboard on there to help hold it and the duct tape gave way I just, I can't win, you know. I gotta figure out what the hell I'm gonna do now. Yeah, Friday the 13th is not my day, you know. She's saying hi to the stuff she can't have anymore. And, and I was trying to tell you this. But, um, you have a black mark on your face, like right there. Like right next to your mouth, like right down here. A little bit at the crack of your mouth yet. Eh, pretty much gone. I, I, yeah, she, I, she, she literally, uh, came to me, like, Two minutes after I just got done vlogging about Hi. the shadow. She's petting the frozen ice cream window, whatever you want to call it. Hi. Yeah, and she's like, oh, you want to go to Walgreens? And I'm like, 
Yes, I do. And you're not going to stop me from buying something stupid. Yeah, she got, what was it, Taco John's? Yeah. She got Taco John's, had a burrito thing, like chicken burrito, and it had cheese in it. And now she's... She should have known better, but she didn't. And now she's breaking out, and she come here to get stuff, and I'm buying something stupid because I'm having a shitty day. And You know, if not for the fact that I'm wearing a neon yellow shirt that's very reflective, I would probably say I'd probably get hit by a car on the way back, but, but who knows what's going to happen to me. So I'm just laying down here watching some American Pickers when... Uh, this old guy that they were uh, picking from said, you know, the object isn't to own all the toys in the world, but it's to play with all the toys in the world. And you can't do that if you don't let the toys go so that you can get new toys. And... I think that's just really fitting for me right now, because, you know, Mel likes to refer to me as the, the hoarder in uh, Potentia, and, uh, you know, I have, there's a box out right out in the living room of stuff that I'm getting rid of, and, I, you know, it's, I definitely know it's going to get a lot fuller. Um, within the next you know, week or two I'm gonna really try to hit uh, hit the boxes hard to try and get a lot more of it unpacked and get rid of a lot of stuff and I really think it's time to get rid of some of my crap even though I love my crap but uh, you know But, uh, it's time to go to bed. It's already... Damn. It's quarter to one. It's tomorrow already. So, night. See you later today. Camp Adventures. Making our way.